Okay, hello everyone. We have another lesson for grade 10 math. Okay, so this lesson is for the first quarter, module 1, sequences. Okay, and our objective for today is to find the first five terms of the sequence given the general term or the nth term. Okay, example of the general terms are the following. We have a sub n equals n plus 6. A sub n equals 7 minus 2n. A sub n equals 3 raised to n. A sub n equals 5n minus 2. A sub n equals uh, the quantity of negative 3 raised to n. A sub n equals n minus 9. Okay, so again, in this lesson, in this video, we're going to find the first 5 terms of the sequence given the nth term or the general term. Okay. So first, uh, let's have the example of sequence. Okay, let's say for example, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Okay, this is infinite sequence. So in this sequence, the pattern is um, the next term is obtained by adding 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4, plus 2 equals 6, plus 2 equals 8, plus 2 equals 10, and so on. Okay, so let's have first 2. So 2 is what we call the a sub 1 or the first term of the sequence. Okay, 4 is a sub 2 which is the second term of the sequence. And 6 is a sub 3 or the third term of the sequence. 8 is a sub 4 or fourth term of the sequence. And a sub 5 is fifth term of the sequence and so on until we have a sub n or we have nth term of the sequence okay so next let's proceed we're going to find the first five terms of the sequence let's say for example number one uh, the given general term is a sub n equals n plus six okay so, paano natin kukunin yung first five terms ng sequence? Unang limang terms ng sequence. Okay. To find the first five terms of the sequence, we have the a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. Okay. To find the first five terms, we're going to substitute the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Since 5 terms ang hinahanap. Okay, so let's solve first 1, the first term. Okay, to find the first term, we're going to substitute 1. Then now we have a sub 1 equals 1 plus 6 equals 7. Okay, pinalitan natin yung n ng 1. Okay, we substitute 1 doon sa n. Okay, since first term yung hinahanap o yung pangunang term ang hinahanap. Okay, so therefore we have 1 plus 6 equals 7. Therefore, the first term is 7. Next, pangalawang term. Paano kunin ang pangalawang term or second term? Okay, again, uh, we change n by 2. Okay, then, substitute 2 doon sa n. Okay, so we have 2 plus 6 equals 8. Therefore, ang second term natin o pangalawang term natin ay 8. Next, paano kunin yung pangatlong term? Okay, para makuha yung pangatlong term, again, substitute natin yung 3 dahil pangatlo. Okay, then it is equal to 3 plus 6 equals 9. Then, we have 9 for the third term. Next, para sa fourth term, we substitute 4. So, we have a sub 4 equals n, palitan ng 4, then plus 6, then we have 10. Okay, so the fourth term is 10. Next, to find the fifth term, or pang limang term, okay, substitute 5, then a sub 5, okay, equals change n, which is 5 plus 6 equals 11. So, the fifth term is 11. Therefore, the first five terms of the given 
general term a sub n equals n plus 6 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, next. Find the first five terms of the general sequence a sub n equals 5n minus 2. Okay, to find the first five terms, okay, we have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. Okay, five terms. Then, we substitute 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 since five terms ang hinahanap. Okay, again, so we have um, the first term or unang term, a sub 1, papalitan natin yung n ng 1 equals 5, and then palitan yung n ng 1, since unang term yung hinahanap natin, minus 2 equals, ayan, 5 times 1 equals 5, 5 minus 2 equals 3. Okay, and our first term is 3. Next, pangalawang term. Para makuha yung pangalawang term, again, okay, uh, we follow the pattern. Then, we, we change n by 2. So, a sub 2 equals 5. And then, change ang n ng 2 uli. Okay, then minus, then we have 2. 5 times 2 equals 10. 10 minus 2 equals 8. Therefore, the second term is 8. Next, for the third term, pangatlong term, so we substitute 3 dun sa n. Then a, uh, a sub n, it becomes a sub 3 equals 5. And then n, change natin ng 3 minus 2. Now, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 2 equals 13. So, therefore, the third term is 13. Next, fourth term. Then, we have a sub n, it becomes a sub 4 equals 5. N, change n by 4, then minus 2. Okay, just follow the given um, pattern or n term. Then, 5 times 4 is 20, minus 2 equals 18. Therefore, your fourth term is 18. Next, number 5, to find the fifth term, the last term, we have a sub 5, change yung n ng 5, then equals 5, change ang n ng 5, minus 2. So, 5 times 5 equals 25, minus 2 equals 23. Therefore, the last term is 23, or the fifth term is 23. Okay, so, again, uh, the sequence of the given general term a sub n equals 5 and minus 2 is 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. Okay, next, let's have another one. Find the first five terms of the sequence. a sub n equals 7 minus 2 n. Okay, same step to find the... Uh, first five terms, we're going to substitute the values of uh, the first five terms. Okay, so we have one, yung unang term to find the first term. Okay, so we substitute a sub n, it becomes a sub 1. Yung n, pinalitan natin ng 1, ng first term. Equals, okay, just follow the given pattern. We have 7. Minus 2, yung n palitan uli ng 1. Okay, 1 because yun yung hinahanap nating term, yung first term. Then, it is equal to, okay, we write 7 and then negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Therefore, the first term is 5. Next, number 2, or second term. To find the second term, we have a sub 2, we change n by 2, then equals 7 minus, we have 2 times change n ng 2, then it is equal to, 
Okay, we have 7. We write 7. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So, 7 minus 4 equals 3. Therefore, the second term is 3. Next, number 3. Or to find the third term. Then now, we have a sub n, it becomes a sub 3 equals 7 minus 2. Okay, n changed by 3. Again. Then, we have 7, we write 7, and then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 7 minus 6 equals 1. Therefore, the third term is 1. Next, to find the fourth term. Okay, so a sub n, it becomes a sub 4, equals 7 minus 2, change n with 4. Then, now we have 7, we write 7, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Okay, so 7 minus 8 is negative 1. Okay. Therefore, the fourth term is negative 1. Next, to find the fifth term, we are going to have, okay, a sub n becomes a sub 5 equals 7 minus 2 and then n is 5. And then 7, we write 7, then negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So 7 minus 10 equals negative 3. Okay, mas mataas ang negative 10 kaysa positive 7. Kaya kukopyahin natin yung sign ng mas mataas na number. Therefore, the fifth term is negative 3. Okay, again, the first five terms of the given general term is 5, 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3. Okay, next, let's have another example. Number 4, a sub n equals uh, the quantity of negative 3 raised to n. Okay, so again, to find the first five terms, same step, okay, to find the a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 2, a sub 4, and a sub 5, to substitute the first 5. Okay? So, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, to find the first term, we have a sub 1 equals negative 3. And then, we change n by 1. So, negative 3 raised to 1 is negative 3. Therefore, the first term is negative 3. Next, for the number 2, okay, change n by 2. So, we have negative 3 and then the exponent is positive 2. So, negative 3 squared is equivalent to negative 3 times negative 3. We multiply negative 3 2 times. Okay, so negative times negative is positive. 3 times 3 equals 9. Okay, so therefore, the second term is 9. And to find the third term, we have a sub 3 equals negative 3. And n is 3. The exponent is 3. Okay, so negative 3 cubed, uh, it means that you multiply negative 3 3 times. So that's why we have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. Again, negative multiplied by negative is positive. Positive multiplied by negative is negative. So, that's why we have negative 27. Okay? So, the third term is negative 27. Next, fourth term. So, we have a sub 4 equals negative 3 raised to 4. Okay? So, exponent is 4. So, we multiply negative 3 4 times. So, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Negative 27 times negative 3 is positive 81. Okay, again, if we multiply a uh, same sign... The resulting product is positive. Say, for example, positive times positive equals positive. Negative times negative equals 
capacity. Okay, but if you multiply a uh, different sign, then the product is negative. Say, for example, positive times negative equals negative. Okay, so the fourth term now is 81. Next, to find the fifth term, we have a sub 5 equals negative 3 okay. raised to 5. Okay, and then it means that you multiply negative 3 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 243. Okay, how about the sign? Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times negative is positive. And then positive times negative is negative. Okay, therefore, the fifth term is negative 243. Again, uh, the sequence of the given nth term is negative 3, 9, negative 27, 81, and negative 243. Okay, so that's all for now. And this is for your activity. Uh, just try. Try your best. Um, you only have to find the first three terms of the following sequence. We, start, we, have, we have number 1, a sub n equals 5 minus n. Number 2, we have a sub n equals 8 n minus 3. Number 3, a sub n equals n plus 9. Number 4, a sub n equals 4 raised to n. And number 5, a sub n equals 3 n or 3 times n plus 5. Okay, good luck. So, for more videos, you can search Matrix and then click playlist para makita nyo mga compilations doon. And for questions, clarifications, and corrections, please comment it below. Okay, thank you.